Do you sell products that come in different sizes or colors or other style variations? Instead of creating standalone listings for each, you can group them together on a single detail page. We call this feature product variation relationships. Creating variations lets customers see all their buying options on one page and can help increase conversion. This video will show you how to create product variations on Seller Central using Add a Product. Let's get started. Let's take an example of a product with different variations. This product is a box of granola bars available in two sizes, a six pack and a 12 pack, and two flavors, honey and sweet and salty. Altogether, there are four physical product options that can be linked to one Amazon product page. In this example, there are four child items mapped to a parent item. They are held together by the variation theme that is chosen. Note that the parent is not a physical item for sale. If the parent item was unassociated from the child items, the child items become their own standalone listings. Now let's take a look at how you can create parent and child items using the Add a Product tool in Seller Central. From your Seller Central homepage, hover over the Inventory tab and select Add a Product. Then click on I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon option. Now select the relevant category for your product. Enter the product name for the parent listing as well as the brand and manufacturer if required. Since the parent is not a physical item for sale, leave the following blank, product ID and ID type, package quantity, and variation attributes like color, size, and flavor. Now move to the Variations tab. Select the appropriate variation theme from the drop-down menu. Please note that these variation themes may vary based on the category of products you are selling. Enter the variation names, color, size, flavor, or whatever is indicated by the variation theme selected. Then click Add Variations. The variations will be shown at the bottom of the page. Complete the required information for each product variation. Next, you'll move on to the other tabs and menu choices to provide product descriptions, features, and other required information that helps create quality listings. We recommend choosing Advanced View to add optional information to help increase listing discoverability. The product information you fill out on the other tabs will be copied for each child listing. So, it's important that you enter information that can apply to all products in the variation. You can also update each child listing individually later. Upon completion, click on the Save and Finish button. Once the variation family is built, you will see a consolidated structure that appears to be a single listing in your Manage Inventory page. However, on the far left of the parent item, you will see an arrow symbol with the phrase Variations and the number of variations listed within the grouping. To view each of the individual child listings, click on the arrow symbol. It is important to add a main image to each child listing. Without a main image, listings can end up removed and non-viable. To add an image, click Edit on the child listing and navigate to the Image tab. While you are adding an image, you can also adjust or add any other content on the tabs to further clarify that specific child listing. If in the future you need to add more items to the same variation family, click on Edit on the parent item and navigate to the Variation tab. Here you can build the new addition to the variation family. Fill in the details in the text box, select Add Variations, and complete the required information as you did when first setting up the original variation. Then click on the Save and Finish button and the new addition to the variation family will be added. This wraps up the video on how to create product variations using Add a Product. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store!